Union Minister Nitin Gadkari arrived at the parliament in his new car and all heads turned. The car's door boldly stated powered by hydrogen and everyone wanted to know more about Gadkari's hydrogen car. He rolled into parliament in India's first hydrogen electric vehicle, the Toyota Mirai. It costs roughly 50 to 65 lakhs in the UK and could perhaps be more expensive in India. It is claimed that the Mirai can cover 600 kilometers on a full tank. It has a capacity of 5.65 kgs of hydrogen and can be refueled in an estimated 5 minutes. The car is powered by green hydrogen. Green hydrogen mainly refers to the process by which it is obtained. So when water is split into hydrogen and oxygen using renewable electricity, green hydrogen is obtained. It has significantly lower carbon emissions as compared to normal grey hydrogen which is produced from fossil fuels. We will be able to be in the fuel and hydrogen are three kinds of hydrogen. One is the hydrogen from the water, the hydrogen will go out from the water. इलेक्ट्रिक की कार का खर्चा एक रुपए पर किलोमीटर है इसका ज्यादा से डेढ़ रुपए से दो रुपए आएगा। ग्रीन हाइड्रोजन कॉस्ट इज एक्सपेक्टेड टू बी एनीवे बिटवीन 1.5 टू 2 डॉलर्स पर केजी एंड दैट्स रफली अबाउट 100 टू 150 रुपीस। एस इज क्लियर फ्रॉम द नेम इट इज अ व्हीकल पावर्ड बाय हाइड्रोजन when hydrogen reacts with oxygen, energy is produced. The engine is powered by electricity while the water vapor is released. These are known as hydrogen-based fuel cell electric automobiles, meaning they're hydrogen-fueled electric cars equipped with a battery as well. Hydrogen cars are expected to bring down driving costs. Nitin Gadkari acknowledged India's fuel issues and mentioned green hydrogen is the solution to India's fuel problem. So what's your take on it? Petrol, diesel, electric, or a hydrogen based car? What would you prefer? For more informative videos like this, keep watching India Today News Mode.